Hey guys, a good morning. It is almost 8 a.m. this uh, Saturday, March 23rd, and I just dropped Frankie off for work, and I actually have some errands to run today, and surprisingly, um, I never thought I would say this, but Evanston is conveniently, like, nearby where like places I need to run errands which specifically I need to get a haircut because I haven't gotten a haircut since March last year no June last year so it's almost coming up on a year and it's March so look at all this hair we need to cut off I, I mean I don't want to cut it all off but at least like maybe three inches four inches maybe I'll tell them three so they'll do four type of a deal but just kind of want to get layers I have no bangs type of a thing get some a volume going on there and actually um also another reason why i haven't really gotten a haircut one is time but just finding the right place when i was on the south side oh my god like i found the perfect spot finally um if you guys have been to the south suburbs in alliance um i know someone here who does follow me she goes to him too she knows him nacho I forgot the name of the studio. I'll try to list it down below. But that was the first time I got a haircut where it's one of those, like, you know, when you go to the hair salon, you show them a picture, like, this is what I want or something similar, like, basically the idea. But then they cut your hair as they're cutting it. It's like, well, should I go this short? Should I go this short? Like, how do you think? How about here? I'm like, I don't know. You're the expert, you know? So, and I think about that sometimes when I do makeup. I was like, just do your thing, whatever. I just ask them what color, you know, type of a thing. So, I feel like I've always had that experience with hair salons. I never had the, like, make me look beautiful, you know, and he does it type of a deal. And I feel like Nacho was able to do that. Like, that was my favorite haircut ever. I even saved the picture and I want this person, like, do this. So, I'm actually going to be getting my haircut in Evanston because back in the day 10 years ago <laughs> in high school Evanston was convenient and close um, from where I went to high school uh, so I used to always go to randomly the hair cuttery in Evanston and the one in Evanston they always did a good job I feel like no matter who I got um, I definitely used to go to, like the hair cuttery in West Loop because it was convenient from work there uh, a couple years ago but eh, not always the best but Evanston I was like you know what let's give it a shot I've been there it's convenient um, so we shall see how this turns out if they mess it up i'll definitely show you guys the end result so we're just gonna do that first because they opened at eight and then i gotta do some work things and then we gotta run some errands so i thought i would just bring you guys along let's go also update i'll probably try to edit my video later so i filmed a video yesterday and i had like just like basically thank you please subscribe you know stuff left to go and my camera decided to shut off and I got an Air 70. If anybody knows what Air 70 means on a Canon T3i, definitely let me know because it's not turning back on. I definitely was like, okay, maybe, because it said, maybe take the battery off or turn it on and off. So I did that, nothing. So I was like, okay, maybe it overheated or something. So let me just let it cool off for like 30 minutes or so put the battery back in nothing I was like oh maybe it could be the SD card I was looking up YouTube videos I was googling and there's like different things it's like oh it's no big deal it's like oh it might cost you a lot of money so I was like uh so in between um I actually think I'm going to get like a what do you call it an attachment for my phone so I can put on my tripod I guess in the meantime until I figure it out I'm gonna try to call Canon support later today and see what they say hopefully it's not expensive Oh, cross your fingers, but anybody knows Air 70 and the Canon T3i, let me know because I'm hoping it's not going to be expensive. I got the camera in like 2014, I think, so five years, so I don't know what the lifetime on a camera like that is, but hopefully it's something not too expensive. If not, it's going to have to wait for my refund check, my tax return uh, to come in. Refund check, that was college, <laughs> but my tax return, I don't know. We'll see, but hopefully, I mean... I have this iPhone. I paid how much money? I'm still paying for it basically. So hopefully the quality will be just as good while we figure it out. But let's head on over to get our hair cut. So uh, it's around 11 something and I actually just left Panera. I had to do some uh, work <laughs> for a little bit emails phone calls um, but I finished my um, I should have gone to this hair salon but I finished my hair appointment and 
interesting experiences. So I had originally called the hair cuttery on Wednesday. Did I already mention this? To try to get an appointment, but apparently unless you have a stylist, you can get an appointment. So I was, they're like, but you can do a walk-in. Just come in, walk in. The girl told me walk in. And by the way, we open at 8 a.m. So I was like, okay, great. I gotta drop off Frankie, it's 10 minutes away. I'll get there probably a little bit earlier. I did my face. Um, and so I was like, okay, I'll be the first there. Like, who's gonna be there first thing in the morning to walk in unless you like have an appointment? I don't know. So I get there, 8 a.m. I let them know the situation, what happened. And then the girl's like, oh, do you have an appointment? I was like, no. And then she's like, oh, well, the person who does um, the walk-in appointments doesn't get there. She said 8.30, 9, you know, and she kind of snuck in 9 o'clock. She's like, but you can wait. But I was like, I really need this haircut right now. <laughs> so I was like, fine, fine. She said, I'm pretty sure she said 8.30. I'm pretty sure it's 9, though. So we're going to wait and see. I have my phone. It was already like 8.15. And then finally it hits 9 o'clock and the girl's not there yet for the walk-ins. And even the girl who I would um, had taken the appointment from, she was just like, I'm sorry, she's supposed to be here. I'm just like, it's okay, it's okay. And normally, honestly, because I got there, I was like, would have been great to know that, by the way, the walk-in lady doesn't get there till 9 a.m. That would have been great to know on the phone instead of the chick was like, just come at 8 a.m. And I feel as like, as I get older, I lose my patience. Like, I'm just lack there. I'm one of those where it's like, bad service i'm like screw it i'm never coming to this place again <laughs> i actually stopped going to my eyebrow place um by work it was more out of convenience i didn't really like it that much but i stopped going because i went in and the lady was just like oh yeah sure she'll be you know available for you in like five minutes or so i was like okay and it was over like 10 minutes i'm like lies i was like you know what forget it i don't got time it's waxing anyway i just came here out of convenience it's like screw you i'm not doing it and today <laughs> Just so happens to be the second day of my appearance. I'm a PMS. He's like, you testing me. Oh, you testing me, haircut. Are you testing me? And while I was actually waiting to get my haircut, some woman had, you know, who was getting done. She was paying. And then I guess she was looking at the charge. She's like, wait, what's this charge for? And the lady was like, oh, that's for curly hair charge. And the woman just kind of stopped. She's like, just kind of like, what? And she's like, yeah, we've always charged that. You know, I'm just like, what? I've heard of a long hair charge, but a curly hair charge? Like, if I had curly hair, I would call bullshit. Like, I would be so pissed. Ooh, and I don't know. I feel like women with curly hair are a little bit feistier. Maybe it just hang out with a bunch of, um, like, curly hair Geminis. <laughs> or feisty, maybe it's just from there I'm getting it from. But I don't know. I would have made more of a fuss. Because it's like, okay, I don't see that on the wall. I see the long hair charge, which I also think is bullshit um which i figured i was gonna get charged from because i showed you guys you've seen my videos like my hair is like pretty freaking long so i was like i knew they're gonna throw that one at me so i prepared myself but whatever but i was like curly hair oh hell no i don't know if just hair cutter does that or every single salon but that one's bullshit long hair one is bullshit you're here to cut hair it doesn't matter you know like it's just ridiculous and so finally the girl gets there and then i don't know it was just awkward experience maybe i was already mad i don't know i just don't no patience today and but i really needed a haircut <laughs> so she's like okay what do you want to do so i showed her a picture layers you know take off like three or four inches i should have told her three inches because i feel like it's a little bit shorter but still good um still long um so but like she's like washing it and then right away she like answers her phone and then she tells the person like oh just text me um so then they're texting i was like what are you doing texting and then i don't i don't believe her she said i was like oh trying to make an appointment client but i was like you're with the client right now you know <laughs> but i'm like mm. and then i was like okay whatever maybe that was you know a client appointment or whatever and but then she gets another phone call i was like okay this is not a client this is like a family matter type of a thing and so she's talking it was one of those like she started snipping my hair and right away she's like oh my phone you know i was like bitch you cut my hair <laughs> like okay what the fuck <laughs> i was like oh hell no but i'm just like pick your battles pick your battles because she's a midway cutting your hair <laughs> do not piss off the lady with the scissors so i was like i'm gonna stay quiet okay fine fine <sighs> So I just kind of like, at first I was just going to be like, okay, we're going to make the best out of this. You know, I like to chat, blah, blah, blah. But I'm just like, whatever, like, ugh, just cut my damn hair. And then when she was cutting, like every time they get to the bangs, I hate it. Cause I'm just like, here's a picture you do it with the picture. Like, I don't know, like make it look good. Make sure it flows, you know, type of a deal. I don't know the way she was kind of cutting it. Cause you know, sometimes they like take the scissors and like shear it down. Um, she was doing it from the bottom and 
I'm not one to question. I was like, I'm not going to question that because I know when I do people's makeup and like, especially like a smoky eye, it's a process. I get it. Um, but I was just like, I'm not about to question that one. I guess I'm paying you for a reason. So we'll see how it turns out type of a deal. Um, and then, you know, she was done, but my hair was so wet and she's like, what do you think? I'm just like, it's still wet <laughs> you know like i don't know it's still wet like i can't tell you until it's dry like it all looks the same to me you know <laughs> i'm just like i was nice about it i was like i don't know <laughs> i'm just like oh, and she dried it and it looks fine she's like it was one of those like she was just like so what do you think like not even like okay what do you think you know blah 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 like you're trying to sell your services you're like man lady don't you want a nice tip you know type of a deal he honk at me um but yeah it was just kind of like a black like what do you think i'm just like it looks fine <laughs> i was so mad i was like okay you put the scissors on it looks fine like honestly it just looks fine it doesn't look like oh my god like you know you're just like oh see look you know blah 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 she's like how does it look and it was, wasn't one of those like oh here check out the back i was i had to ask her I was like can i see the back <laughs> like she tried to shuffle it around like you could have done more like thank you for doing the least today it was yeah you minus one dollar it should have minus like five dollars for a tip but i'm just like Ugh, i guess you cut my hair it looks fine you didn't fuck it up you know type of a deal but i am not pleased i'm just like the experience you know overall oh and they're like oh do you want her card so basically now you have a stylist so you can get an appointment i'm just like i guess <laughs> such a bitch i'm just like i can't i'm sorry i was really nice to the lady at the front desk who was like just basically she had nothing to do with like the phone call or her being late so i was, like, I was nice to her um but the other day she's like oh i have cards in the back i'm just like you could just give me what you have you know it's like i'm not probably gonna come back or call her specifically because it's like okay now you have a stylist but what if you don't like that stylist what if i want another one how do i get another one i gotta walk in again and deal with this you know all over again <laughs> I don't know basically i think i'm just gonna trek my butt all the way to lions from where i'm at in the north side which you've learned it's not far from evanston if you're in chicago <laughs> i'm far but you know what it's worth it i think i'm just gonna go to nacho uh, it's worth it type of video it's just like one of those like even like whenever you make any sort of like grooming <laughs> womanly grooming appointment whether it's hair whether it's nails i make the appointment i expect to wait so a little bit i i realize they're usually backed up um but it, with you know with like not just like you have to wait a little bit it's like it's cool it's like one of those salons like feels like one of those like you want to hang out there type of barbershops like oh, we have the tv on let's gossip a little cheese mimi hi what's going on girl you know so i think i didn't go back to that <sighs> They did an okay job but you know when you run your fingers through your hair and it feels like oh so clean so light so beautiful it's just kind of like feels bleh. i don't know i'm just pmsing okay i am at cvs i figured i would stop in because i have two things i wanted to see if they have any more of those la girl palettes most importantly <laughs> i want to see if they have the creme shop uh the hello kitty <laughs> uh, face masks and just like body wash not wash but like makeup wipe oh i want some hello kitty makeup wipes kurobi i wish they had um pachaco he was definitely my like you know when you're little and there's like disney princesses or like just different little characters and like you and your cousins each have a character um for the hello kitty mine was definitely pachaco my sister's was kurobi same thing you always you have your thing um i remember what is it, even mario kart <laughs> i had luigi my sister had yoshi um so i'm looking for that the creme shop items and also every time i see elf i want to see if they have that silly putty or what is it poreless primer i have not seen it in stores all right cbs did not have anything worth picking up so i was hoping to find that hello kitty i want hello kitty in my life so i'm actually off to walmart now and let's see what makeup hopefully we find there shouldn't be too far but also here credit just took away an hour of my day one less errand to run probably i don't think i'll come back to here we'll see how desperate i am for my next haircut <laughs> but let's head off to walmart wala, 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 wala. that moment when you forget where you parked the car now we just gotta find some chocolate thank you walmart saving me some money on my pms week 
Okay, let's see what brands they have here. Oh, so someone mentioned this, and I had been curious about this too. The Milani, their Soft Focus Glow. They said they really liked it, and I was like, I wanted to pick it up. I was like, would be anybody be interested? But they only have this Golden Glow. I personally would like the Nude Glow one. Ooh. Or also, ooh, I don't know, strobe light. I wonder if these are any good. I have the other liquid version. And I see they do have the um, bronzers here, all for $8.97. Target is being weird. So they're for like $8.99. The sunlight number one and number three are $8.99. And at Target, even on display, the one that I bought, the Sun Kiss, the middle one, it's like $16.99. I'm like, what's going on, Target? Even online, if you look it up, I'll post pictures. But I was like, what the hell? Like, is this a typo? I don't know. So I was like, maybe if I ring it up, but it still showed up as that price. And even the girl was just like, I don't know, maybe because it's a popular color. I was like, I don't I don't care if it's a popular color. They're the same product. It should be the same price. So that's just weird. If anybody has noticed that with the Milani bronzers, it looks weird at Target. But oh, look behind me. I see hard candy. Everybody just went at the hard candy section. I actually want to get another color for the foundation because on camera it does look like it matches me, but it is a little bit too dark. I have natural 1507. So I think I'm gonna get beige. Maybe I don't know if I'll keep my natural and just mix. Cause just FYI, the natural is very pink. I think I'm gonna get beige. I think this will be my good color. Now I'll come back and I'll just get the other one and then I'll mix it. Um let's see. I hope they reformulate the concealer. Hmm. I'm curious to see. Everybody's doing lip kits now. Also, I was about to maybe get this color. What is this? Forget me not, but it looks like somebody went for that. And to confirm, yeah. Don't buy a lipstick if it looks like this. I found a new brand that I never heard of and I was almost curious to try, especially a foundation, but two things I noticed. Ooh, everyone looks touched. Uh, not getting that, but also let's look at the color selection. We have eight colors. I'm really light, 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 some medium, and a deep. What? 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 How do you jump from... And this is bronze. Who? Like, that's not bronze. It's not even bronze for me. Like, that's not even bronze for me. I'm light as hell. How do you go from bronze to deep like that? Like, what? This just like reminds me too much. Like I'm looking around, this reminds me of like an Ome, like all natural Ome version where it's like they don't really cater to different skin tones, <laughs> deep skin tones, tan skin tones. Plus let's look at this eyeshadow palette. Who is wearing that? Who has anywhere near medium to deep skin tone that looks ashy is all hell. Also, same thing, powder foundations. I don't, that's deep? What? Excuse me, that's like my bronzer maybe. And then here's like their, I guess it's like a blush and highlight combo. Like that still looks really light. Like the pink actually looks darker on camera here. <laughs> and also the peach, these look really light in person. So, sorry found. What I did notice, I do want to pick up, is the Neutrogena Power Tint. They have these at Walmart. I think these might be a Walmart exclusive because I haven't seen these at Walgreens. So let's pick up. I wonder if it's like a BB cream, which I totally get. I don't ever see they have a lot of color selections. So let's see how this goes on. I would probably be light to tan, maybe fair to light. But let's go light to tan just to play it safe. All right, I feel like that was a very small beauty section. Like Walmart, what is going on? They just had like one aisle and then like half of another aisle and the other half was like skincare stuff like where's flower beauty like i just feel like there's a bunch of brands missing this is another walmart um at least i had the neutrogena products and they had hard candy but they're missing a bunch of stuff so they gotta restock i saw elf nothing new like none of their really new products like they have a target like their eyeshadow palettes and stuff like that or even their primers so looking for that poorless putty primer um See what else I get at Walmart today? <laughs> While I wait for a Bath and Body Works hand soap sale, I'm gonna get the bootleg <laughs> Equate version. I was like, hey, this is kind of cute though. Um, I'd like, I don't know, you have a preference between foaming hand soap and just the regular one. I think Bath and I like both. I just love Bath and Body Works. It just makes me feel fancy. So we gonna feel fancy with Equate. Pretty good. Torta lunch. Oh, 
taco dinner for lunch. I might steal some of your arroz. Okay, so we're back home. I just called Canon to see if they can service, help me out <laughs> with my camera, explain at least what's going on. So I call them. And at first it's like, actually, this support place is not open right now. I was like, what? It's set till 7 p.m. Eastern time. So I got till like, what, 8 p.m. Chicago time? <laughs> so I called again, got somebody on there. And they're like, oh, actually, we don't service your model anymore because it's too damn old. I was like, ah. So I was like, all right, I'm going to need to start recording on my phone then probably. So I was looking up some videos like because I was at uh, Walmart trying to find like a little uh, phone mount for my tripod at least. And I didn't find one specifically. I knew I should have bought the selfie stick. So I was like, can you detach it? I wasn't sure. Um, it was like, what, like a $10 selfie stick? Blaze. <laughs> it was like a $10. Frankie's vacuuming right now, in case you're wondering. So it's Blaze versus the vacuum, literally. <laughs> but I was watching, um, who is it? Shameless Maya Techie videos. Because I remember she did one, how to like film on your iPhone. And she did. She was like, selfie stick, you can do it just using a stick. Or you can, you know, unscrew it and screw that part onto your um, tripod. So I think I was about to get that. But then I was like, let me post on Facebook to see, does anybody know what Canon <laughs> Rebel T3i Error 70 means? And a friend of mine uh, commented. I was like, why didn't I think to ask him? Techie guy. Um, Rafa. Uh, so he said something about formatting FAT32. I don't know. But I googled that or like I YouTubed that how to and there's some videos out there so we're gonna try that and cross our fingers maybe we can do like a janky little repair at least um for a little while longer so we'll see how that goes I'll update you guys Okay guys, final stop for today. I'm at the uh, Block 37 Dine-In Theater here in the Loop in Chicago. I've never been here. It's one of those where they bring you food. So we just ordered, so maybe I'll give you a sneak peek of what we ordered. We kind of went a little bit ham here with my mom and my sister. So I just want to say bye here. Thanks for joining me for my Saturday after this. Probably drop everybody off and head home and chill for another early day tomorrow. Bye!